Hi friends! Welcome to summer. Summer is one of my favorite times of year. I think I like summer so much because I really like being outside when it's warm. I like eating a cold and juicy watermelon. Mm, so good. I like staying outside until the lightning bugs start to come out and the moon comes up. Oh, and I, I do love a good water balloon battle. Now that's a great part of summer. The best part about a water balloon battle on a hot summer day is that by the end of the battle, we all win <laughs> because we're all cooled off by the water. But one of my absolute favorite things about summer is Vacation Bible School. And we just spent a week at Vacation Bible School here at Spring Hill. We were learning about God's incredible world and creation and how each of us are wonderfully made. But one of my favorite kid moments this week was seeing just how wonderfully made kids are. I saw kids encouraging other kids. We were making a constellation craft and it was kind of hard to do at first. And then I saw one seven-year-old say to another seven-year-old, here, let me help you. And then a little bit later I heard, wow, your constellation looks great. Amazing. And then at one point, the whole team was cheering each other on by saying, go orange team, go. It was awesome. It was so encouraging. Well, today's message is in Colossians 3.16, and it says this, Let the message about Christ and all of its richness fill your lives. That means taking the rich, wonderful, amazing words like faith, hope, and love, and letting those words just fill up every molecule of your body. Those encouraging words and the love of God are contagious. I mean, but not like bad contagious, like a bad cough. <laughs> no, the word contagious means likely to spread and affect others. So I want to show you how contagious encouraging words can be by using these two water balloons. I have them tied here to my clothesline. And let's pretend this one is me and I am having a particularly good day. Maybe I had some watermelon. <laughs> and let's pretend this is my friend Mary. And Mary's not having a bad day, but she's not having a great day either. She's just a meh kind of day. Maybe she hasn't had any watermelon. All right, so I come into the room where Mary is and I start encouraging her. Maybe I share some watermelon with her. And look what happens to Mary. She perks up a bit, gets a little bit of bounce in her. That was contagious. Those encouraging words were contagious, but it happens the other way too. Watch this, watch this. Okay, this is me. Let's say I'm, I'm just hanging out in the room and Mary comes in and Mary says, Christy, Jesus loves you. Look, contagious. It's like we're transferring energy to each other. And scientifically, that's what's happening. But in the spiritual sense, we're encouraging each other and that's contagious. When you share an encouraging word like, how can I help you? Or you can do it. Or even a Bible verse, you are filling your life and the other person's life with the richness of God and his love. And the bonus is, is that it's contagious. It spreads and affects others. So I have a challenge for you this week. Number one, find something about summer that you love and share it. Maybe it's watermelon, or maybe it's a water balloon fight. <laughs> or second, this challenge is even more important. Share encouraging words with your friends and your family, and then just watch how those words become contagious. Let me know how it goes.